Okay, now here is a very interesting feature I would like to discuss with you guys. Here I got the Galaxy S25 Ultra, iPhone 16 Pro Max and the Pixel 9 Pro that we have here. Now let me open gallery application here and let me open an image right here. Now here let me tap on AI icon. Now we get two options, generative edit and sketch to image option. If you want to remove an object from this image, we can tap on generative edit and just circle it. It will lasso this particular subject and I can tap on erase and it will completely erase this image. I can just tap on generate. This subject will be erased. You can see that this is just beautiful. It has retained the shadows of these trees here and it has filled this area with the shadows of the same trees and the car has been removed, which is fantastic. And this is something which is also available on the iPhones. Let me try the same on the iPhone here. Here I'll tap on this edit icon. As you can see, we have got this cleanup button. I will tap on this. On the iPhone, automatically it will select the subject. The AI will analyze and it will select the subject and we can just tap on that subject to remove it from this image. Let me tap on this card here and this will be instantly removed. It works faster than the uh, Galaxy phones. However, the Galaxy phone has done a better job here. As you can see the shadows of these trees here, it has filled this area with the shadows of the trees. Whereas here, it has removed this subject and this has become completely dark. This looks more natural and this doesn't look that great. Now here we can't really reimagine or add something on this uh, area. Whereas on the Galaxy phone, I can save this as a copy and I can tap on this AI icon again and let's say I want to sketch to image. I will tap on this. Now I'll be able to draw something on this image to add something. So let me just draw a car here again. Let's see what happens here. I'll tap on generate. There we go. It has created a car, but it is very, very small actually and it is not really natural looking car there. Uh, probably I'll have to draw it in a right way. So let's do that. Uh, let's create this again. Let's generate this now. Now the AI is recognizing that it is a car and it is placing a car right there. Definitely a little better, but it is not perfect yet uh, because we'll have to manually draw this. That is the issue here. Now let's talk about the Pixel phones. This is going to be very, very interesting, guys. Keep watching this video. I will open the same image on the gallery uh, on the photos. Let me open the same image over here. Now here, what I'll do is I'll tap on edit and I'll tap on AI icon right here. Now it says circle, brush or tap to select. I will just circle this particular car. Instantly it is selected. And here we've got a feature called Erase or Reimagine. Let me bring this closer to the camera. As you can see, Erase or Reimagine. Now here it's very, very easy to reimagine this photo. I'll tap on Reimagine and I'll be able to describe and say what exactly I wanted right here instead of this particular car image. So what I'll do is I will type Lamborghini. I'll tap on Send. Now the AI is acting on this and it will place a Lamborghini right there in the place of that particular car. There we go. This is how the Lamborghini looks. We've got a car with another color. We've got one more option here, another option, and we can generate more if we want. So what I'll do is I will regenerate this. I will place something else over here. Let's see. Maybe I will type a Hummer. There it is. We've got a Hummer right here and it looks just fantastic. So this is how we can easily reimagine the images. Uh, we can add these subjects or objects on the existing image on the Pixel phones, which is just fantastic. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, this feature is available, but we'll have to draw it manually to reimagine this. We can't really describe it. Whereas on the Pixel phone, we can easily describe whatever we want to see here and it will replace that area with that object or that subject. Whereas on the iPhone, it will automatically detect the subject or the objects that you want to erase and you can just tap on it to erase uh, that particular subject. You can see it will quickly erase it, but it is not perfect. So the iPhone's feature is faster, whereas the Samsung's feature is better and more accurate despite being slow. Whereas on the Pixel phones, it is faster and the reimagined feature is just fantastic. So that's how this feature works. And I really wish Samsung adds this reimagined feature on the Galaxy phones. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Drop a comment. And uh, while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. And for more tips and tricks, do subscribe and become a part of Apex community. And give this video a like if you find this video informative.
informative and if you're interested in this wallpaper that you're seeing here on the Galaxy phone, the uh, wallpaper is available on Volver's application. The app link is in the description. The app has some amazing wallpapers. You can go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.